And now for the Monero development segment. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey man, how's it, how's it going? Uh, it's okay. Actually, the fundraiser got funded, so I'll have a phone maybe by next week, but after that, uh, 100%. All right, but you're you're with you're doing well. With what you got, right? Uh, yes, actually, I didn't really have much time this week, so I, as I, as I told you, I had to pick a not a, that complex topic. But for next week, uh, I got something coming from the same creator uh, from as the XMR idol miner. He's made some AI stuff. With Monero. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's see what you got this week. So, XMR Idle Miner. So, uh, as mentioned, this is a really simple Python script, uh, which checks your uh, PC if it's idle or not, uh, measured in minutes. So, for example, if you haven't moved your cursor in the full in the last. For example, five minutes, five is the default. Then uh, it turns on your XMR rig and uh, mines for you. This is uh, useful for people uh, who, for example, uh, are in home office or just play games on their PC and don't want them to lag. Very cool, very cool. So it's a, it's a quick, easy way to turn your your PC into a miner without disturbing your, your, your normal PC use? Yes, basically. Uh, currently, it uh, only works with Linux uh, with uh, Xorg by default, but uh, you can change it really easily, for example, uh, for Mac, uh, as Yobi mentioned. It needs Python uh, 3.x from Python.org. So it, it uses the PSUtil and the XPrint idle uh, for checking uh, the the time uh, that you've been idle for. The XPrint idle is specific, specifically for uh, Xorg, but uh, as, as mentioned here, uh, it, it can be used on, on macOS too with a sleep watcher script. The packages are installed by pip install uh, r requirements.txt. Keep in mind that uh, Xprint title didn't install for me that for uh, by that way, so you can install it via apt-get install or in uh, in RPM systems uh, via yum install uh, Xprint title. Uh, download XMR uh, XMR rig from their official GitHub, and uh, preferably use systemd. Or uh, if you don't want to, you can use the Python command uh, using an export environment variable. So it it uses an M variable, which I will show my other screen in one second. Uh, did you did you test this out? Did you give it a go? Uh, yes, I did. So if I can share my entire screen, yes, I can. Can you put it in? Thank you. So, uh, as mentioned here, uh, it can be used by the uh, systemd uh, when creating uh, the file. You can uh, put it in the etc systemd system and use the basic config configuration from his GitHub, uh, Edge7's GitHub. Uh, and use it the, uh, with the system the way, or you can uh, run Python, uh, the script, the main.py, uh, with the way I'm showing here, one second. So it needs a variable, uh, which is which is your uh, path to the X, XMR rig, which you can enter uh, this way in uh, Linux. So you need to export a system uh, environment variable, XMR rig uh, underlying path, and you just uh, enter the path here. You press enter, and that way, now if I'm in the folder which has the script, uh, then I can just do python mine.py. 
Oh, no, sorry, main.py. And uh, this now has my path to the XMR rig in a variable. Uh, the five there is the seconds that I've been uh, idle for. And currently, it's set to two minutes. So if it, uh, if it hits two minutes, then it's going to start uh, XMR rig in the in the back background. Cool. Uh, do you want to, do you want to see it in in working? Because then yeah. I can. Uh, okay, then one second because then I can sure. bring up another terminal and use. Identify. Sorry, what the? Oh, I didn't enter the environment variable here because it's not permanent. I love that you it? tested this out. Now, do you think you're actively going to use this, or what's your recommendation? Uh, I mean, do you think it's a good idea to per, do? Or? Pers personally, for me, uh, I don't usually play games, but when I do, uh, I, I will be using this for sure. So it starts the app, and I can run a bit up in the background, which can monitor my processes. Tux, what do you think of this? Oh, it's pretty interesting. But uh, what's this? I use <laughs> yeah, I don't use Xor, I don't use Wayland, and I think most yeah. people now use Wayland. Uh, Is there? Did you find an alternative to replace? I I'm not mm. sure if this kind of thing would work on Wayland because of how it's uh, isolated. I'm sure it would work. It just needs the the package for it to work. Uh, I might ask Edge if he knows anything that works with Wayland, or uh, I will search for it myself if you need it. Need it. Someone say, uh, can you already do this via XMR rig? I'm just setting it to uh, start mining on idle. Can you? I don't think so. Okay. So in maybe a minute or so, it should start uh, mining in the background. Okay, cool. If I if I touch my mouth, uh, mouse, then of course it will cancel the uh, idle time and. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we can see. In in the meantime, we we got a special report over here. Got a message from from Vic. Uh, I know this news is already out there. Doug, did you already announce that Justin has left Cake and moved on to other projects? He, he is still consulting for Cake here and there, though, so not fully gone. Uh, no, I don't think we've we've officially mentioned it here on the show. So Justin is no longer with Cake in his full time capacity. We did mention last week that there was an opening at Cake, um, so now we know why there's an opening. Um, and I don't know if that position's been filled yet, uh, but Vic had posted it a week or two ago. They're looking for somebody full time to to basically take over Justin's role. Um, but I think Tux, Tux, I think you interviewed Justin, right? Do you have any uh, any more info on it? What, what, like, what is Justin up to? Did, did he say what he's going to be moving on to? No, not specifically. Okay. He's keeping it pretty uh, low key right now, but like uh, like we, you just mentioned, and like was in the interview, he's still going to be doing some contract work for Cake. Uh, he just said he couldn't devote his full time to Cake anymore, uh, but he'll still be part of the team. And of course, he'll he'll still be in the Monero community for the foreseeable future. But I I don't know. I have no idea. All right. So it's it's not like he's uh, completely moving on to other realms it sounds like he's staying in the monero sphere right okay it should have started mining by now the python 3 oh. that pops up uh, on on the right corner sometimes uh, it's not the third it it's a disappear now it should be that but i didn't start uh xm rig uh yes process is running i didn't start xm rig by sudo so it it didn't have the uh mxr from a certain mode, so it, it couldn't start uh, functionally. Sorry, efficiently. Okay. 
Oh, all right. Well, we, we get the point. We, we, we don't want to bore people. Um, <laughs> all right. Thank you, man. Comrade. Thank you. Well, uh, I, I thank will... Edge for making this. Because uh, Is there anything... in my opinion, in my opinion, this could help a lot of pe lots of people. Uh, as you know, in the Monero community, people, I, I mean, most of the people probably uh, work from home. Yeah, it seems like a, a great thing to do for for those that want to use their computer to mine without disrupting their their normal CPU usage. Uh, anything else you want to want to throw out there before we move on? No, I don't think so. All right, man. All right, Conrad, thank you so much. All right, awesome. Thanks for showing us. Thank you too.